Hello everybody! Today I'm in the ancient tea gardens of Jingmai on the main plateau in Tapingzhang and as, as you can see I'm standing uh, close to a very tall and quite big tea tree. Okay, so it's part of what we call the ancient tea gardens and this kind of tree, tea, this kind of tea tree is usually referred to as ancient, ancient trees like Gu Cha. Okay? Um, now I get a lot of questions when I talk about like ancient tea gardens and ancient trees about how about how old these trees are, okay? And especially why I don't mention the age of the trees uh, on our product descriptions in in our website. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna explain a little bit, give insights on uh, how we can estimate the age of the tea trees. The first and easiest method is to ask the locals to do the history of the tea gardens. Okay, so it would mean simply uh, doing surveys, interviews with, with farmers, uh, looking for uh, written records of when the gardens were established. That method is quite accurate to determine a maximum age of the tea trees. If you, if you didn't have a garden uh, 500 years ago, of course, you can't have a 500 years old tea tree, okay? Um, now, these gardens here, according to written records, the, the most serious proof we have is some, uh, uh, some historical, like some trade records that were written 1,200 years ago, that were mentioning uh, that uh, tea was uh, bought in, in Jingmai by the Han, by the Han Chinese. Well, we can say that that's quite a, a strong uh, proof that um, there was tea cultivation being done here 1,200 years ago. Now, is it still those gardens? We're not sure of that, but we can assume that uh, at that time the tea trees were planted in these gardens. Why? It's because uh, here we have quite poor soils and you can't grow uh, anything else than kind of uh, tea, tea trees or coffee or maybe rubber plantations. And at that time, it was supposedly still tea that was grown here. Uh, if tea was grown, it was probably in this kind of sandy soils on which you couldn't plant rice or other uh, crops that you could feed on. So, okay, we're pretty sure that these gardens are very ancient, probably uh, very likely over a thousand years old. Now, how about the age of the trees? Well, um, it's very hard to tell. Well, for sure, uh, the earliest uh, tea trees planted here uh, most likely didn't survive. Uh, didn't survive. I would be really surprised if uh, we still had one of those original tea trees planted here. Okay, uh, we're not sure of that, but uh, that's very unlikely because it's quite a long, long time. And tea trees, of course, can die because of pest, pests and disease, because of. Uh, natural uh, climatic events, especially frost or hailstorms, they can simply uh, die out because they run out of energy due to old age, all those kind of stuff. So here the history of the garden, if we, if we know the ancient tea gardens are over a thousand years old, it's going to be pretty hard uh, to get the, the accurate age of, uh, of a single tea tree by asking the locals simply because, well, if this tea was planted 200 years ago, uh, it's unlikely any local could, uh, could witness on this or could remember that. There are so many, so many tea trees here. If you want a, a real proof, you would have to find the, you, you would need a, like a first account uh, testimony. That would mean you, you'd need to talk to that guy who, who saw that tree being planted or who planted it or something like that. And of course, it's impossible. So we can't have the, the age of, of a single tree by asking locals here. And we don't have written records either of uh, single trees being planted, of course. We can only have written records on a larger scale like tea, tea cultivation being done here or tea trade or things like that. Okay, so now we come to an, a second method. Second method is uh, tree ring counting. That's what's usually uh, proposed when people are uh, discussing like uh, how old those tea trees are 
The problem is you will be disappointed. I found some clear-cut clear -cut tea trees, you know, sometimes they can get sick and one way to save them can be to cut, to cut the trunk, the main trunk, so that they regrow. So it can be a... you can find some clear-cut, uh, pretty big trees, but the problem is you can't see the tree rings very well. And this is because we're in tropical climate here, and the, the difference between uh, the dormant season and the active season, the growth season, is not clear, clear enough, at least not every year, to form a, a tree ring. And so that method works very well in the temperate zones where you have a, where you have a cold winter and then a, a growth period in, in spring and summer. Okay, but it doesn't work here. Now a third method that's like the most commonly used is you use the trunk diameter as a reference. You say like the bigger the trunk, the older the tea tree, and that's true, but the problem is you can't really compare two trees uh, between them because uh, genetics affects a lot the, the, the growth rate of the, of the tea tree as well as pruning. Basically, these trees get very large if you prune the tea trees. If the tea trees are short, they will invest more energy in growing a thick trunk than if you let the tea tree grow up. Doing estimation based on the trunk size, we, we would need to understand more about the history of cultivation. And you know, if those trees are like 300 years old, we really can't possibly know how they were managed 100 years ago or 200 years ago. So, of course, as a big rule of thumb, it's true that the tea, the tea trunk uh, gets bigger and bigger as the tea tree ages, but it's definitely not a linear relationship and it's not accurate enough. I haven't found any paper on uh, mentioning that they use trunk diameter to estimate the age of uh, small trees. It can be done with big trees because those big trees uh, tend to grow together at the, at the same rate in the forest to form a canopy and uh, so they have some kind of hormonal uh, communication that kind of keeps them in pace. For those kind of trees it's possible to make a rough estimation but for tea trees that grow under very different conditions of, of light and that are also pruned that have different soil fertility and things like that you, you can't say anything based on the uh, on the size of the trunk really. So now we come down to the last method, uh, you can use radiocarbon dating. So this is a method based on uh, radi radioactive decay. So in the air you have CO2, uh, which has a carbon, and some of it is a carbon-14. A very tiny portion of it is a carbon-14. The, the tea tree with photosynthesis will capture this carbon. That carbon-14 always decays, you know, like uranium or all radioactive material, it always decays. So you have less and less, once the carbon is not in the air, it's captured by the tea tree and the amount of carbon-14 diminishes. It goes down by half every 5,500 years, if I remember correctly. So by measuring the proportion of carbon-14 that you have in, in wood, you can determine uh, when this wood was created. This technique allows us to measure uh, old things that go from 100 years old to 50,000 years old. It's used a lot in archaeology. So this is a, a possible method actually and that's typically what is done when they cite the age of like the king of the tea tree of, of somewhere or something like that. And to my knowledge this is the only accurate method that could be used. But for this of course you need a piece of wood and if you have an extremely old tea tree it can be a problem to have a piece of original wood because maybe the, the tea trunks tend to be uh, uh, to get hollow, they are attacked by disease or something like that. But if you can get a piece of wood, then it costs a couple hundred dollars to do this analysis in a lab and you can have the age of that wood. So that would be a valid method to estimate the age of the tea trees, but of course it cannot be done on field. Okay, so that's why in our product descriptions we typically mention the, we say it comes from ancient tea gardens, but we never mention a specific age of the tea trees just because we have no idea. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us more questions in the comments. Goodbye.